Hi guys, welcome to Knits Up. I am Midi, your hostess, otherwise known as Knitter CNY. We're trying a different location because the light's pretty good out here in the kitchen today. So I thought I would try and record out here. If you hear crinkling or anything, some of the stuff is in plastic bags, so I apologize if you do hear crinkling. I'm probably going to breeze through a lot of this. I may have to reach off camera for some stuff, but we'll live with it. Uh, the first thing I am working on is a pair of socks. I'm almost done with these. I just have part of the toe to go. These are cuff down socks with a heel flap and a gusset and then just a wedge toe. I am using laying reinforcing yarn on the toes. And this is Knit Picks. Stroll Multi Paisley that's quite old. Um, I got this years ago. And then I'm, I think I'm using an Addy Turbo um, 2.25 Magic Loop. Um, I had been using Haya Haya's, um, but it was just easier to do the Magic Loop. So I'm almost done with the toe. It kind of stripes around. So that's what that looks like. And that's just living in a dollar store bag. The other couple of things I'm working on are socks, and then there's a big term project. I'm going to reach here. Oh my God. Ignore that. Um, I'm working on another pair of socks that's two strands at a time. And of course, they're all stuck in the bag. This is what this pair looks like. Uh, this is, it's on my projects page, um, but I think it's collage yarn maybe is the, is the cream colored yarn. It's a mill end that I got last year at um, Wowzers. The Finger Lakes Fiber Festival from Pollywogs out of Whalen, New York. Um, they sell through the internet and they sell at a lot of shows. They usually sell at Rhinebeck. A couple different shows. They have a lot of brown sheep ends and some fiber and good stuff. Um, and the other thing is Heart and Soul, which is a red heart sock yarn. Uh, this color is Berry Bliss. Um, this is more pinkish reddish than it's showing up. It looks darker in this light for some reason. And the second sock, I think I'm on the heel flap. Yes, I am on the heel flap. Uh, this is, I think it's 48 stitches around and I'm doing a tap down. Um, just two by two ribbing all the way down and then a simple uh, slip stitch heel. I don't care that the striping sequence isn't going to be the same, and I'm using bamboo needles. So that's that one. Uh, something I started last week, and you can hear the noise. Bring it to funk, bring it to sax, I guess would be today's title. But we also have a hat. This is, it looks like a bee stripe hat which it is sort of because it's yellow and black. Um, I had the black for a while. This is Red Heart Reflective. Um, the weird little modeling you see in there is actually a, like a mylar kind of reflective stripe. It's almost like a monofilament fishing line that's quite heavy. And then I got the yellow because it was on sale. This is literally called Neon Yellow. Um, that kind of shows what it does. It lights up. So I am working that on, I think it's a size 7 needle. Uh, okay. You can see the etching. It's 4.5 millimeters. I think that's a US size 7. Um, just around and around, and then I'm staggering where I'm starting the next stripe 
Uh, this is the nightshade hat that is on there, the night shift hat. I can't remember what it's called, but that's also on my projects page. Um, this I'm just using to use up the yarn, and somebody will get that at some point. The other thing I'm working on is a sock. This is Patton's Croy that I had bought when it was on sale. This is Singin, wow, Singin in the Blue, Sing in the Blue Stripes. Wowzer, that's a mouthful. But it looks like that. Um, that black isn't really black, it's a dark navy. And this is what I'm doing up. Let's move that. Looks like thusly. Um, it, this is just a pearl stripe. Um, this is the sock pattern is found in the sock uh, Twilight. I believe it's by Melissa Morgan Oaks. Um, but there's um, a correction to a chart that I found somewhere that just had the stitch pattern in it. Um, so I just sort of use that. It's, it's a fairly simple stitch pattern, so I don't think I'm giving anything away there. Um, so it's very cute. Um, I linked the pattern. If you like the pattern, buy the book, obviously, but I'm just using the stitch pattern. I'm sure this is probably somewhere else, too. If you pull out the rib, it kind of looks like that to begin with. I like the stripes. They're weird. Uh, other big thing I'm working on is a two Afghans or two cousins' kids who are graduating from high school. One of them I've made very good progress with. Um, this is very large. Um, it starts out in pine bow, then goes to like a pine bow. There's like a maroon, and then there's, I think they call this taupe. Um, this is just half double crochet across. Actually, I'm sorry, it starts here, goes there, and now we're working on pine bow. Um, I have one more ball of taupe left that'll finish off the other side, and this was done lengthwise. Um, I'm using Bernat Blanket. This is backwards, so um, take that for what you will. It's a size six on the yarn scale, super bulky. It's 100% polyester, so you can put it in the washer and the dryer. Um, I don't think put it in the dryer, maybe. Yeah, washer, dryer, probably tumble dry low. This is going to college with somebody, so that will be that. Um, that's also on my projects page. Um, the colors show up really nicely here, so I like that. That's living in a big, huge bag. The other blanket is out of Charisma. And to be honest with you, I'm probably going to rip it out. It's a chevron right now. And the holes here are really starting to annoy me. So I think I'm just going to rip the whole thing out. I'm only two skeins into it, and I have 12 skeins. And I think I may just rip it out and just do straight back and forth. Um, just half double crochet because the the double crochet this is way too loose for kids blanket um, teenagers blanket I think we're gonna have problems if I don't rip it out uh, other stuff I worked on I can't remember if I showed you guys this or not um, it was more a curiosity thing I have not woven in ends it looks like the sleeve which doesn't look too bad, but I think it's going to go live with somebody else. Um, this is Sari Silk from India. It is Red Heart Boutiques Sari Silk, S-A-R-I, like the saris that the women in India wear, that many women in India wear, that are made out of silk. These are the remnants basically off the floor, <laughs> uh, and they twist them together, 
and they make yarn out of it. It's very pretty. The colors are really muted here, but there's like some bright colors. I think this is enchanting was the color name. You kind of, the colorways obviously are not, you know, going to be the same from yarn to yarn. Uh, the other thing I found, this is kind of the consistency of the yarn, so you can kind of see it's raveled and, you know, it is what it is. And I found that when I was looking at the yarn in the Hanks, they sell it in Hanks, I got mine at Joann's with a half price coupon. And when I was looking at it, it was um, from hank to hank, it depended on how well it was spun. I tended to get a tighter spike, tighter spun one because I thought it might wear better. Um, other things I have bought recently. That'll be the remainder of the show, basically. Um, is something else I got at Joann's. Um, they would sent a coupon in the latest flyer for 50% off. And I don't know if you've ever seen these in the front of the store. My store has crates of this stuff. It's Fashion Plus Yarn. You get a pound of yarn. Now it says acrylic polyester nylon. 100% mixed fibers. So they don't tell you what you're getting. However, when I looked at this stuff, um, they're mill-in, so they're not complete skeins, but that is sock yarn. That is wool. Uh, that's wool and nylon. I can pretty much guarantee that's either, I think it's a patent scroy. Um, it's got gray and black. Um, it's fairly heavy. It's fingering weight, but it's a pound of sock yarn, and it's black and gray. So that'll make nice socks for different people. Um, like I said, I bought it with a half price coupon. So a pound of sock yarn for $4.15 is a pretty good price. Um, the other thing that I am working on right now is some spinning. This is an Ashford spindle. It's a light spindle. And this is a top whirl spindle. That means the whirl, this part, is the disky part, is at the top. Um, it's fairly light. I bought it, I think, for $12, maybe more than that. I can't remember. And I've just got some random stuff. I think this might be Targi that I had bought over somewhere. Um, but it's purple. It's cute. Um, and I'm working on that. What else do we have? Um, I have purchases. Um, the other thing I need to start working back on is another project. Um, this is another. Sh this is another top world spindle I have. This one is shocked. Um, that makes like the matchless wheels and I think they make I know they make the matchless wheels I think they make the sidekick and the ladybug too um, I don't own a spinning wheel I don't see me owning a spinning wheel anytime soon this is from Susan's spinning bunny this is stuff I bought a while ago I need to work on this but it was a trial pack with five different kinds of fiber in it. Um, I don't even know what I'm looking at now. This is black and blue face flesh shirt. Um, if you want to look at her stuff, it's spinningbunny.com. Um, this one is a Falkland. There is... A pack of merino silk, blue face, luster silk, uh, merino and tencel. There's five different ones of these, but so that's what I got is a five pack, and I think it's an ounce of each, maybe. And so I've got to spin that because it's in the purples. Um, it looks really cute. It's the sea glass colorway. 
That's a pretty accurate colors. And then yesterday I went to the CNY Fiber Frolic that was at Beaver Lake Nature Center. Um, that's a park that is in the Baldwinsville area. It's probably about 15 minutes away from me. Um, it was a piece of donated land that they gave to a county park about 25 years ago. And they just have some nature trails and a small nature education building. And the local spinning guild has a fiber frolic each year. Um, a couple of the big names that were there last year are not there, um, weren't there this year. Um, I thought that Holiday Yarns was going to be there. They weren't. Um, this is just on my part because they were there last year. And then um, Renee from Spun Right Around was there last year, but I think she's been doing so much business on the internet. I can't see her packing everything up and going to do a small show like this. Um, but I did buy some stuff, um, which I will now share with you and do pardon the crinkling because um, I'm pulling this all out. Um, and then we're going to put the bag way underneath it. I bought one yarn and three fiber things. Um, the yarn that I bought is really pretty it it came this one came caked up and this is narwhal needlework and the color is lumpy space princess uh, super squishy sock oh lumpy space princess valentine super squishy sock 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon 462 yards uh, machine wash tumble dry um, so it's purples and teals and very, these are like very, um, I told the owner uh, and her husband that it reminds me of uh, spring crocuses um, is one of the reasons I got it. There's definitely more lavender in this. The more I pull away, kind of there, um, but it's a very light lavender. It's hard to do light lavender and not get strong things, but. Uh, they sell it by the Hank and also, so her shop is Etsy.com forward shop forward Narwhal Needlework. Uh, narwhal is a little whale that's got a uh, canine tooth that grows with a little, it makes a horn basically. And they're up in the Arctic and Greenland. There's only about 75,000 of them left in the world. Yes, I did look up what a, what a narwhal was. Apparently, I missed the memo that narwhal was a big thing. But she's based out of Liverpool right now, I believe. Um, but go look her up on Etsy. They were really super nice to me. They talked to me for quite a long time. I did not identify myself as a podcaster because, you know, I'm buying stuff. I don't know when I'm going to knit this up. But um, it's really soft. It's really squishy. It's very, it's nicely prepared. So I'm good with that. Um, the other place I went is some some place I frequented before. Um, this is Spinners Hill. Um, Spinners with an S Hill. dot com. Um, she does quite a few shows. Uh, she's based out of Bainbridge, and this is just a bat. Um, it's really super dark purple. They're one of a kind carded bats. It's Corydale in Rambouillet cross shoot. So that's what we've got there. Uh, and I also have a card for this one, which is Pear Tree Farm, um, Holly Partridge Proprietor. Um, she's an instructor at the BOCES. Um, I think she's, I can't remember what she said. She teaches something to do with Sure. Talked to her for a while. Um, she had um, some loose fiber and stuff. She has her own flock, and then there's a flock that's at Bosey's. Um, for people who don't know what Bosey's is, that's um, a cooperative education service um, that's paid for by all the districts that participate in it. And it's basically like 
technical school for high schoolers, I guess would be how you would use it. You can take adult classes there, but um, you can take like culinary things, HVAC, um, Ag Life Sciences, computer programming, cosmetology, phlebotomy, that sort of thing. Um, so adults and high school kids can take it. Um, but the gray is Icelandic. The red is Lesherlanwal. Teal is Tees Water. And the blue is the blue is a long wool, but it's a lamb, so it's really, really soft. Um, so that'll be nice to spin with. Uh, different fibers, which is what I was looking for. And then the last thing that I got was a, this was all prepared and it was 10 bucks. I don't know who I bought this from. Um, when I saw 10 bucks and there was wool and a little bit of alpaca and then it said vintage spindle. I'm good with vintage spindle. Um, this is a bottom whirl spindle. This is super heavy. I mean, so this is a spindle that's probably been around for a while. It's got some notches and things in it. You can see it's fallen down, but it's, you know, somebody. So this will be good for plying. Um, this is, Gallagher Spinning and Weaving Tools, Santa Clara, California is what this says. Now, whether that person's even still in business, I don't know. So this is really heavy. This is like over three ounces. Um, that's more of a plying spindle for me or to make thicker yarn. Um, if you were a beginning spinner, that would be good. And then there's just a little bit of alpaca in there and a little bit of green wool. So it's basically a get started spinning kit, but it's good and heavy. So that'll be good. Um, I never say no to a spindle and yarn for 10 bucks. Um, I bought some other magazines and stuff, but I think I'm going to leave that for next time because we're at about 22 minutes. So I'm going to upload this and then we'll go from there. There's no editing or anything fancy today. I'm probably not going to do show notes. Um, if things are reversed, um, just PM me or put a thread up on Ravelry in the group and let me know if you need something clarified if you need an address or something i'll be happy to post you know links to things in the episode thread show notes um, right over on ravelry also if you are getting this via itunes could you go and um if you get time do a review of the show um if you know, do, even if you can just do a star rating, it makes it pop up for other people. And I think I generally don't talk about personal things too much, just knitting and spinning. Um, and I am, again, Knitter CNY over on Rivalry. Uh, feel free to post projects you're working on. There's a Facebook page. There's a Google Plus page, but usually not too much there. Um and past shows and show notes are at Libsyn, uh, sorry, knitsup.libsyn.com. So you guys have a good week. Spring is finally here. Go knit something.